All right, today I'm going to show you how to replace two fell drives. If you notice that I don't have any fell drives here, but I'm going to simulate disk one and disk two are both fell drives. So if you look at it, if I click on here, I have my Plex data on this drive. And if I come over here to the disk three, again, I'll have some more Plex data there. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to replace those with these 18 terabyte drives. So to do that, and simulate that it fails just to show you how the parity will rebuild the content, we'll just go ahead and come down here and we'll st stop the array and we'll hit proceed. And then this will stop the RAID. And again, if disk one and disk two, I'm sorry, if disk two and disk three was already in a failed status, then <clears throat> what would happen is we would stop the array and replace the disk, similar to what we're doing right now. All right. So here's the um, drives down here. So if I look at it, this is parity one, parity two, disk one. So this is disk two and disk three here. So remember, we're gonna simulate disk two and disk three as file drives. So I'm just going to pop both of these bad boys out and say that those are the um, file drives. All right, once we got the drives out, we're gonna take our first 18 terabyte drive and we're just gonna slide it on in there Make sure it's in there. Got that light all green. All right, so now that we got that 118 terabyte drive in, I'm gonna put the second one in there. I'm gonna slide that bad boy right in there. So now that these are in there, we'll be able to go upstairs and see them. All right, so now I got the drive installed come down here and you see I have my two 18 terabyte drives right here. Um, so what I want to do is unassign. I'm going to put that first one right here. And I'm going to put the second one right here. And then uh, <clears throat> what we need to realize though that since this used to be a 10 terabyte drive that what that means is anything that I put in disk two um, needs to be 10 terabyte or higher. Now that I put it in an 18 terabyte drive, it's going to be needs to be an 18 terabyte drive or higher in the future. Same thing um, for down here. This was an eight terabyte drive. So <clears throat> anything above eight terabytes, I've been fine to replace it with. But now it's going to have to be 18 terabytes or higher because I put an 18 terabyte drive in there. So once that's done, I just come down here and I hit start. And then once I hit start, um, what's going to happen is it's going to come up and bring my array back online. All right, now that we're back online, what we're seeing up here is disk two is being reconstructed. And then um, down here, we have data rebuild started started and the size 18 terabyte and then down here we notice that disk 3 return to normal you know levels and <clears throat> those are these disk 2 and these disk 3 right here they got this triangle um up because um the data is being rebuilt and the disk itself is being emulated until the rebuild is completely done all right so that's it um we just have to wait we go down here looks like it's going to take three days or two days to get those um, drives online once they're online they'll be green and then we'll just check the data make sure that we got those two folders in there and if we do that um, data is pretty much rebuilt all right so we're back and if you notice disk 2 and disk 3 is green saying normal operations we go over here, it says that our data is rebuilt, zero errors, 
um, you know, disk three and disk two both return to normal operations. So if we take a quick look at that and we go over here to disk two, and we still have our data there. So if I click on my Plex data and I have my movies and everything in there, and then I'm going to go back here and go back to disk three take a look at that and then I have my flex data there and I have my TV music movies and so forth and that's pretty much it so if you ever have a fellow drive um, rest assured that um, we'll have some redundancy and you know it's it's gonna be redundant it's not like a true backup because you know backup you'd put it on a different system preferably at a different location but you know, as far as like redundancy goes, this is, um, you know, pretty good.